Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide and in today's video we are going to partially revisit the Big Me S6 Color Plus and the only extent that we're going to be covering this device in this video is going to be the stuff that was omitted due to the censorship from Big Me uh, from the unboxing and the first impressions video which was the direct comparison of the S6 Color Plus with the um, with the Tab Mini C. So I'm going to show you in this video the original footage with the old update and I'm going to also run a new comparison the same type of comparison between the S6 Color Plus and the Tab Mini C and then also show you the comparison via the magic of editing uh, of the same device S6 Color Plus how it be, uh, behaved before the latest update and how it be uh, behaves now with the latest update where they added a brand new refresh mode which is uh, actually really quite good. All right, so um, Big Me S6 Color Plus has received its latest update, which was the one that I've been waiting for and the update in question. And the main thing that it does add, it adds a lot of several things, but the main thing that it adds is the new refresh mode. And that's now called normal fast. Like, I don't know, make up your mind. Is it normal or is it fast? That's default and auto clean on as an option. So I'm just using everything as default. The main point of this con uh, comparison is we have the same Kaleido 3 screen in both of the devices. We just have the major difference of different operating systems and that the T Tab Mini C has a dedicated graphics processing unit or GPU, which is not part of the SOC chip that this one also has. No, they're actually using their own proprietary GPU that is designed to uh, enhance clarity, improve ghosting and improve speed overall. So this will show how much work that GPU actually works uh, or does on the Tab Mini C and what difference does it actually make on a Kaleido 3 panel because it's the, it's the exact same panel on both the devices. So it's a really, really good comparison to see. And also for me, what it's gonna be showing is that uh, whether or not that battery consumption trade-off because all GPU, all tab devices uh, with from books, they uh, yeah consume more energy and the battery life is worse than I expect it's going to be on Big Me, um, simply because that GPU, that dedicated GPU that's doing all of the cleaning up and speeding up is consuming a lot of power. So is that a good trade-off or not? All right, so now we have both of these guys loading up the same page that I've done before. S6 Color Plus is in normal fast mode. Uh, Tab Mini C is in fast mode, fast, fast, right? So let's try that and see what do we get. And right out of the bat, the uh, improvement that they've made on the S6 Color Plus with this update is really, really significant. It is a lot better and a lot faster and a lot cleaner than what we had before. But you can actually see that they are equally struggling with red and white with um, yeah, S6 Color Plus having quite a bit more issues here. As you can see, it's becoming quite quite messy and when we get around the red part then it's much worse while the tab c is tab mini c is able to do that in a much better way the other thing is simply the frames per second and it's uh, just tab mini c is a lot lot smoother than the s6 color plus in the same fast mode right so we have blacker blacks a uh, cleaner image, more frames per second, and yeah, slightly better image quality on the Tab Mini C than we have on the Big Me S6 Color Plus. That is not to say that the Big Me S6 Color Plus is doing a bad job, not at all. It's doing a really, really good job, especially because it doesn't have the dedicated GPU that the Tab Mini C has, which is designed to do exactly this, right? To exactly give it the advantage that it has and it's clear. So this is why I said in the original unboxing is that no matter how good they make the S6 Color Plus and they've done a really good job here. This is really good. 
like properly usable properly good there's very little ghosting here and what little ghosting you see is really not that bad at all so this is perfectly usable for browsing extremely demanding content for these tablets because uh, this is I've intentionally opened these pages, which are super graphics rich and super contrasty and all over the place. This is like ghosting nightmare. Yet both devices are able to do it properly, but there's no real competition here because Tab Mini C is in a different league as far as smoothness goes. And don't forget that we have another level on the Tab Mini C of making it faster. We do have it here as well, but the degradation is going to be quite severe. So let's see how that goes. So we go to extreme and ultra fast uh, on both of them. So this is the fastest mode that both of these devices have. And again, extreme mode is very usable in on the S6 Color Plus extremely good really really good it's just not as good as it is on the tab mini c so because it's also the tab mini c is doing a progressive cleaning as well as you can actually see it while you're moving this there is some like ghosting but as the image settles down it's progressively cleaning it i think that they're doing the same thing here because you can do the flickering but it does have flickering issues here something that the tab mini c doesn't have and then comes the final thing for me which is the comparison between these two tab mini c is cheaper than the s6 color plus and that is a tough pill to swallow so uh there is no question that Bigme has done an excellent job at extracting what I believe is probably the maximum that you can extract from the Kaleido tree panel on its own with a regular SOC chip that has a CPU and a GPU unit in there to basically just do the progressive cleaning and all of this stuff. Really good uh, display um, clarity, really good ghosting performance and really good speed performance. I'm now back to fast mode on both of them. But that dedicated graphics processing unit on the Tab Mini C just does make a heck of a lot of difference. This is smoother, this is cleaner, and this is sharper than what we actually see on the S6 Color Plus. Let's load up the same article so that we're no longer going through uh, super graphics difficult content and just see like how these things work and you can now start seeing different things and which is the operating system differences so the clarity and the readability is pretty much the same except that tab mini c has a better operating system optimizations and the edge by default works better and is better optimized than the edge the same app is optimized on the s6 color plus and this is something that you're going to start seeing throughout the usability of these devices and that just means that you need to do a little bit more work to tweak it so that you can get the same type of look on the, the of the edge for example in the same browsing experience on the s6 color plus than you have on the tab mini c but as far as clarity and readability goes it's uh, pretty much the same story and as you can see the ghosting performance is excellent excellent on both devices and the difference is not so clear but you do still have a little bit of a choppiness effect when you're scrolling on the s6 uh, color plus while the tab mini c feels and it looks a lot smoother because it simply has more frames per second so again even in that kind of department it's uh yeah it's smoother and it is faster and the tab mini c simply performs better than the s6 color plus and that's the problem because yeah when you put it all together lower price better image quality better ghosting and better performance better frames per second higher price slightly less clarity in image quality uh slightly more ghosting and considerably less frames per second at a higher price it's a very very difficult battle to win
and the overheating issue is very, very real. Now, after this session of just doing this, Tab Mini C is super cold. It has maybe, if I were to tiniest, tiniest bit of difference here, but this is not even lukewarm. This is just that, oh, it's not as cold in this area here. This, this is warm. This here is actually warm to the touch instantly. Here I have to keep it so that I can actually feel the difference. So there is a little bit of heating up here. This is properly warm. And here's the thing. It's starting to be warm on the top side as well, on the screen as well. And that is worrying to me. So right now, after just browsing in normal mode, this whole bottom, let's be fair, bottom third of the device is considerably warmer than the rest of the device. And worrying part is that the warmth is reflecting onto the top as well. So it's equally warm here as it is here. I don't know if that's going to affect the longevity of the screen or not, but what I do know is that it is not usual for an e-ink device to get warm. This is the first one that I've ever, ever experienced that it actually gets noticeably warm and that it actually stays. And this is not the first time. Each time I'm using it and each time I'm browsing or doing anything graphics intensive, this one is yeah, it just gets a lot warmer. And also it was fully charged when we started this. And now it is at 93% from just a couple of minutes of browsing in the normal, uh, normal slash fast mode. Um, that's also a thing to kind of consider. So when I'm doing the in-depth review, I'm going to have to step it up and do a lot more battery testing as well, because I want to see how is the performance of displaying uh, images. And I think I'm just going to play a video for an hour on each of these devices and then uh, actually get that footage or that data so that we can see yeah, how warm does it get and also how much battery does it consume in that kind of a situation as well. But yeah, it's not cooling down quickly either. It's slightly cooler, but it's still warm to the touch. So definitely a consideration to keep in mind. Whether or not I actually accept further devices from Big Me uh, to be featured on my deep guide, it just comes down to the honest representation of their device and Big Me's policy. So for now, yes, I will cover S6 Color Plus, and yes, I do own my uh, own pre-purchased galley. So I will do an in-depth review of that one as well. Whether or not future products from Big Me will be featured on my deep guide, I really can't tell you at this point. I will have to kind of wait and see what kind of company Big Me actually is and then make a decision from that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.